Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, Pickles. Come on, let's get busy. We are going to play the underground train game. The train is going to stop at the castle. Choo -choo. The bridge. Choo -choo. Well, we've got Sean and we've got Rachel. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes. It's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, Mickey John. What's all this running around? <laughs> oh, well, we'll be playing a sort of underground train game. <laughs> you see, these are all the different stops on the River Sea Fingal Underground. Oh, amazing. I love maps. I can look at them all day. You know, I sometimes snuggle up in bed with a nice map. Oh, well, now Rebecca's here. We'll do something new. Since we're going on an underground train later, let's dress Claude up as an underground train driver. <laughs> and we can squeeze on down and take a seat, Mickey John. Oh, Come nice. on. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, back. My goodness. Oh, oh, mind the gap. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, you like maps? Oh, absolutely. All sorts of maps. You know, last week I found a fantastic old map of Riversea Fingal. Oh, did the city look different? Too, right. It showed how Riversea Fingal looked a long, long time ago, before my school was even built. Fancy that. Do you know, talking of a long time ago, I was going to take the children to see something I remember from a long time ago. It's called the Camera Obscura. Oh, it's incredible. You can see the whole city. Well, I know. I remember going to see it when I was a little girl and I thought it was fascinating. The only trouble is I'm not sure how to explain how it works to the children. It's fairly simple, really. You see, it's all to do with the way the different uh, mirrors shine onto the convex lens. Oh, stop! Oh, I don't really want to know how it works. <laughs> well, just take the children and let them see for themselves. Oh, well, looks like your underground driver is ready to take you there. Good old Claude. <laughs> oh, very smart. Oh, mind the doors. <laughs> well, I better be going. Daddy. Oh, it's an underground map of Riversea Fingal. Thanks, Rebecca. Ah, oh, have fun at the camera obscura. <laughs> Bye then. Come on. Now remember, let them see for themselves. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along and swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple. Hello, walls. Hello, people. I go up now, do I go down? Which way's a smile now, which way's a frown? Up! Okay, that way, up! You told me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now, what have I got to do? That's right, time for the tie. Oh, 
all dressed and ready to go. I'm really looking forward to today's lesson. All right, Mickey John. Oh, hi, Bobby. Listen, have you got a mat I can borrow? I certainly have. I've got loads of them. In fact, that's exactly what I'm teaching a lesson about today. See? Loads of different maps. Look, we've got uh, road maps, map of countries, map of the world. <laughs> no, I didn't ask for a map. I asked for a mat. It's for the gymnastics display that I'm teaching to some of the classes later on. I'm sorry, Bobby. I got maps on the brain today. Here, hang on. I got just the thing in my cupboard. Ah. Will this do? Perfect. Thanks, Mickey John. I'll bring it back later. <laughs> I wonder if you're on your way to the camera obscura yet, Bex. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. What are you doing now, Daddy? Oh, goodness, the school bell. Oh, I better clear these maps away. Don't want to spoil the surprise. Mohammed? Here. Leanne? Here. Monica? Here. And Ifra? Here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Messi John. Right, I've got something exciting to show you today. In fact, something really exciting. In fact, something absolutely incredible. But uh, I've hidden it away for now. Aww. Because first, we have to get down to some hard work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach it. Teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. The secretary's smiling as she does her organising. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want to enjoy when I go to school in the morning. Well done, everyone. You've all worked really hard this morning. So now I'm going to give you that special treat I told you all about earlier. I'm going to tell you all about... <laughs> Maps! <laughs> Now, maps can tell you loads of things, and this is a brilliant map. This is a map of Fingal Hill, and you can see the whole city from the top of this hill, and there's the path that goes all the way down the mountain. And look at these lines here. These are called contour lines, and they show the shape of the hill. Now, isn't that fascinating? You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Not to worry, because I'm going to be talking a lot more about maps this afternoon. Now, isn't that exciting? Oh. Oh, lunchtime. Off you go. That's funny. My class don't seem very interested in my map. Oh, well, hopefully Rebecca's a bit more enthusiastic about the camera obscura. <laughs> Here we are at the 
powerhouse schooner. Oh, it's so exciting. We're in for a real treat. Look, you can see the whole of River Sea Fingal. The people, the cars. Oh, so alive and busy. Oh, look, dumplings. Do you like the camera obscura? Yeah. It's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Rebecca, your dad would love it here, wouldn't he? Yeah. I'm thinking of you, Daddy. Oh, Began, I brought back your map. Eh? Oh, the mat. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry about the mix-up earlier. <laughs> How did your gym class go? Oh, um, brilliantly. Children loved it when I did a backflip. They were really interested. Oh, I wish my class were interested in what I was telling them about this morning. Oh, what was that? Maps. They're fascinating. Take this map of Fingal Hill, for example. It's incredible. Look, you can see the path marked. Right. And what are all those squiggly lines? They're called contour lines. They show you the shape of the hill. When they're close together, that means the hill is very steep. But uh, when they're a bit further apart, that means the hill is not so steep. Now, you have to admit that is incredibly interesting. Well, for you, maybe, but I don't really see it. Anyway, thanks for the mat. I'll catch you later. Oh. What's wrong with everyone? I love maps, but nobody else seems to. Why is no one else as excited as me? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. They were using a map to play the underground game, so the children dressed Claude as an underground train driver. Granny Murray told me she was taking the children to the Camera Obscura. I began to explain how it works, but Granny Murray found me a bit complicated. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Bobby popped in and I thought she wanted to borrow a map. But I heard wrong. She didn't want a map. She wanted a mat for her gym class demonstration. At nine o'clock, the bell went and my class came in and I told them I had a treat in store for them. At eleven o'clock, it was treat time. I showed them my map of Fingal Hill with its amazing contour lines. But the class just looked bored. At 12 o'clock, Bobby wasn't interested in the map either. She said she couldn't see what I was talking about. How can I make my map more interesting for my class? Now remember, let them see for themselves. Hmm. Let them see for themselves. Of course, the children can't get excited about the map because they don't know what it's a picture of. So I have to show them that the map is really a picture of a real hill. It's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Right, class. I hope you all had a nice lunch and are ready to hear a lot more about maps. Oh, don't worry. I've got a brilliant way to make it much more interesting this time. So, I've made a model of how Fingal Hill looks in real life. You can see that the hill is very steep here, but not so steep here. And look at these lines here. When the lines are very close together, that means the hill is very steep. But when they're further apart, it means it's not so steep. Now, isn't that exciting? Yeah! Hello, look, haha. Here's a little railway train. Hey! Going through the mountain. And it'll go through and round the other side. Ah, oh, I wonder what you're up to, Rebecca. Right, you two old hands. That's us, my angels. Let's keep ourselves safe. Okay, right, stop. I miss you, Daddy. Look who's here, 
here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Oh, you oh. bet we have, me. Eh? Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying, let them see for themselves, save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now, you'd better be off. Eh? Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, sharing, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as an underground train driver because we were going on an underground train later. Mickey John dropped off Rebecca and told me how he loved maps. And when I told him we were going to the Camera Obscura, he tried to explain how they work. Oh, I didn't understand a word he said. The underground train was very exciting and very noisy. The Camera Obscura looked amazing. We saw a bird's eye view of the city reflected onto a table. It looked magic. When Mickey John came to pick up Rebecca, he said he was glad he had remembered to let his class see for themselves. It made his map lesson much more interesting. So today, everyone could see for themselves. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. I love to sip in Down to the city, city. where the fairy box stands the blue. Time to call 